One of the greatest philanthropists Ogdensburg has ever known was George Hall. He was born on March 11, 1847 in Sackett's Harbor, New York. He came to Ogdensburg in 1872 after his brother Henry was accidentally shot and killed in Utica, New York, and succeeded him at Hall and Gardner Coal Company. Under Hall's leadership, the business grew tremendously. In 1880, the company became George Hall and Company with William Proctor and James Bean as partners. In 1893, Hall purchased the interests of Proctor and Bean, renaming the business the George Hall Coal Company. The company acquired tugs, barges, and eventually steamboats to transport coal. The George Hall Coal Company owned the U.S. Custom House from 1880 to 1936. Eventually, this company combined with Frank A. Augsbury's interests to become Hall Corporation. Hall married Helen Brown of Sackett's Harbor in 1873. They had two children, Mary P. Hall, who married Walter Guest Kellogg, and Henry Brown Hall. After Helen Brown Hall's death in 1907, he married Matilda Stone. They had two children, George Stone Hall and Ruth Hall. The Hall family resided in this home from about 1894 to 1910. Afterwards, the family purchased and renovated the Parish Mansion on Washington Street, which is the present-day Frederick Remington Museum. Like other wealthy men of his time, George Hall donated a great deal of his money to charity. He was very generous to the city hospital, giving over $100,000 in 1900 to have it built. He also built and equipped Ogdensburg Free Academy as a memorial to his late wife, Helen Brown Hall. His assistance enabled the erection of the Soldiers and Sailors Monument in Library Park, and he also made a large gift to the public library. He was also one of the founders of the Century Club and was its president for many years. Hall was elected city alderman in 1879, 1891, and 1892. He served as mayor of Ogdensburg in 1887, 1888, and from 1899 until 1904. George Hall was influential in bringing the St. Lawrence State Hospital to Ogdensburg. Hall died of pneumonia at his home in Montreal on June 24, 1919, and is buried in the Ogdensburg Cemetery. His obituary reads, In the death of Mr. Hall, Ogdensburg has lost its most distinguished citizen and greatest friend. He will live long in memory, and his fine, generous character will be a common heritage. Thank you.